Hello, this is your boy, Bill Eshkavava. And today I'm here to talk about No Man's Sky. So, I picked up No Man's Sky on Steam, on PC. I didn't pick up the PS4 version. And first of all, I want to talk about the port. The port is not very good. Now, I haven't had the problems that some people have had, that they can't even play the game. I am able to play the game. The only problem is, every time I log into the game and get into the game, I have to set all my settings down to low, and then the game starts running fine, and then I can bump it back up to like medium or high settings. But if the game starts off straight away at high, I'm getting very bad frame drops and skipped frames. By doing the low and then going back up to high, I know some people have said that it does uh, help with the port, and Turtle Biscuit talked about this. And it does help my PC cope with it. It isn't still running perfectly. There are some skips here and there. But besides that, the game has been running pretty smoothly. It's never crashed on me. So I'm, I guess, one of the lucky ones that my PC has made it through. And I am able to play the game and enjoy the game. So besides that, let's talk about the actual game. So for me, No Man's Sky has been a mixed bag. As I found it very relaxing. I found it a relaxing game just to chill out and sit back and just relax. The game basically follows a pattern of you're traveling through space, you start on a planet, you mine stuff, you mine minerals, you get your spaceship up and running, you basically then fly off into space and basically you can travel to different other different planets and mine more stuff or go to the space station, drop off stuff, check out other ships if you've got enough money to buy it. And eventually you get a hyperdrive and then you can transport to different uh, solar systems with other planets to mine more to get more stuff. So it is a very repetitive game. I could see some people saying that this game is just too repetitive since all you do is basically get on a planet, mine, maybe collect some information, maybe upgrade your suit, upgrade your weapon, your mining weapon, maybe get some knowledge to learn the alien races, because the alien races do not speak English, they speak their own races. So maybe visit one of those stations, get a new word, maybe interact with an alien. But that's basically it. You're going from planet to planet mining to get more stuff so you can go on further. So I can see some people saying that's kind of boring. But for me, I find it very relaxing. I find it relaxing just landing on a planet. The planets are huge, absolutely huge. And I've been to like some weird planets. I've been to like an old fire planet. I've been to a beautiful water planet. I went to a planet where it was basically all the minerals were like the high class minerals, like gold um, everywhere. But the sentinels, which are like the space police, were like on high. So every time I would start to mine stuff, they would just swarm me. So I would have to get up, land in another place, mine some more, get up, mine in the other place. Because there was just so many. They were on like high alert on that planet. But for me, I found my path through the Atlas path. path. So basically, while you're traveling around, you will get to basically pick a path. There is like get to the center of the universe, that's like a path, there is just the free roaming, you're just going to free roam and just discover stuff, trade, make money, stuff like that, and then there's the Atlas Pass, so that's what I've been going through, and I've been to maybe five different Atlas stations, and basically these are basically these fast stations where you have to travel there, you have to travel through multiple different um, galaxies to get to that Atlas Pass, and then when you get in there, you get some fuel, you get to learn some languages, and you basically interact with this kind of like space being, which is like a red ball, or he's like a triangle, and he moves around. He's on the cover, on, on the cover of the game. So that's what I've been doing. I've been following Atlas. I've been mining a lot. I've been making pretty good gold. I've upgraded my suit. I think my suit has now 17 slots to fit stuff in and I've also got a new ship which fits I think 20 20 slots and I've been enjoying myself now I don't find this game a game that I would sit down and be my only game I think that this is a good supplementary game so let's say I play a lot of Overwatch I play a lot of Hearthstone you play some Overwatch 
and then when you want to wind down an hour, two hours, just chill out, you could just play No Man's Sky for like two, three hours and just relax. So I'm kind of enjoying the game. I know some people have said that the game is horrible, and I can see that it's very repetitive, and some people would, if you do not like mining and crafting stuff, you're going to hate this game. If you're into a game that, if you want a game that's going to be heavily narrative focused and telling you what to do at all times, which this game does tell you the objectives that you're supposed to be doing, but I'm talking about like a NPC coming up to you and saying, this is where you go, then this game might not be for you. But if you just want to chill out and relax and maybe mine some stuff, you know, like when you find like a big river of gold and you're just mining down there and getting all that gold and then you go back to the space station and it's not worth that much but then you travel to a different galaxy and gold's like worth triple the price of the other one and you make like a million credits right there uh that's pretty exciting for me and i've been finding the game all right uh actually probably more than all right i've been finding the game highly enjoyable in a relaxing kind of way so that's basically my opinions on No Man's Sky. I've been enjoying it. I find it very relaxing just to travel from space, uh, from planet to planet, just mining, battling some space pirates, although that, that really happens very rarely. The battling system's not that good. Um, but that's my thoughts. So please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bilashkavava, out.